Hello everyone and welcome back to Inktoberfest. I hope you're enjoying this month-long celebration. This is Carrie from sunshineinmypocket.com and today I'm going to be talking about Transfer Gel Blanco and using that with your inks. Now when I think of tra Transfer Gel Blanco, I think mostly it's used for foiling and especially when you're using a light foil or a flock or something that's a little more transparent that you really want to show up on a cardstock or even a dark cardstock like this one. So I'm gonna show you the difference real quick between regular Transfer Gel Duo and the Transfer Gel Blanco. So I'm just gonna use this bat stencil for my example, which may not be the best example because you're gonna see it turns out real cool. Both ways, it looks really awesome. But just so you're aware that Blanco is normally used this way, there's a lot of other ways it can be used. So I'm just spreading out the Blanco and the transfer gel, and it's go I'm going to let that dry completely. So I let that dry for a few hours, and now I'm back, and I wanna show you that the Blanco dries white, completely white on there. And now I'm gonna take this opal foil, and you can see it's kind of see-through, and I ran that through my mink machine, and now I'm gonna show you the reveal of what it looks like when you do that. So with the regular transfer gel, it is opalescent, but you can still see through to that black cardstock. And with the Blanco, you get the real true opal and it's more of a white. Now it looks cool both ways, but the Blanco is going to show you that true color. I just wanted to show you that difference so you can see that it's going to work a little differently also with your inks. This first technique uses ink pads and all I am doing right now is swiping these beautiful ink colors onto my craft mat. This is Maker Forte ink in Tip Tree Jam, Yellowstone, and Everglades. And now I'm gonna take that Blanco and just add a little bit of it to the side of all these inks. Now I'm not spreading this together. Just wanted to mention that I'm not spreading this. I'm making this as simple as possible and now I'm going to swipe this over using my scraper tool, also known as a stencil pal. And when you pick that up, it doesn't look like much is going on here, but watch as you spread that across your paper, you're gonna get the color kind of marbled in with the Blanco gel, and it's really, really fun. But the way I like this the best is through a stencil. So I'm gonna use this fall stencil from Maker Forte, and I'm going to spread that color right through the stencil, and it's going to give me a really fun look. One thing to remember with this Blanco gel is that it is white, so it will tone down your ink colors quite a bit. So look how I am getting kind of a pastel color, even though these ink colors were super bright. So that's really fun. It kind of mellows them out and look at, there's a little marbling in there. I'm just gonna scrape those edges off so it dries beautifully. And it's so fun to do too. So I'm setting this up once again so I can do this on my tag because I want to keep a record of this specific technique. And here I go, I'm scraping that through once again. It doesn't look like much. <laughs> it surprises me every time. I'm telling you, try this and try this with some really bright ink colors and see what you get. So I'm gonna just hold that stencil there. You can tape that on if you want to or use some magnets to hold it, but I'm just holding it on with my hands and scraping that Blanco gel with the ink right through the stencil. So here we go. It looks pretty good. So I'm gonna peel that up and look at what we get. So beautiful. Isn't that a surprise? A really fun, easy technique. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside to dry fully while I show you my next technique with Blanco Gel. And that's using it with your reinkers. And as you know, your reinkers are very vibrant, very bright. And so this is going to make a really bright color. I'm just putting a little bit of Blanco Gel on there. I'm going to add five or six drops maybe here. And now I'm going to mix this all together. You just wanna get this mixed fully. So I'm being very careful 
because I don't want to get this all over my workspace. I want to have enough room to kind of spread this out. So as I mix, I'm making sure that I get all of this so it's a one continuous color. And look at that bright color we're getting. I use the Coronation Purple reinker. I should mention that from Maker Forte, and it makes a really beautiful purple. And now I'm going to use one of these brand new stencils. I love it that it has the holes on the left side there so you can put it in your binder. This is like a dream for me so I can organize my stencils. I love it. I'm so excited. I haven't received my binder yet. I have it on order. Cannot wait to get that. So I'm just going to use some mint tape and kind of secure that and then I'm going to put this Blanco gel that is colored with the reinker. I've sped it up just a little bit here and I'm going to put that right through the stencil. I'll use my scraper tool once again to get a nice smooth clean look just spreading that out with my spatula first of all and then I'll go through with my scraper and make sure I get it all over that stencil and now I am going to peel that up and look here you get a beautiful beautiful color I love the Blanco gel mixed with color so pretty so there's our second tag right there a super simple easy technique since I had some of that gel left over that was colored I'm going to go ahead and use this on a card panel because why not right I have all of that left over and I think this is going to make a really beautiful background or a portion of a background so I'm just going to use it all up while I have it there and there you go now I'll go and clean off all of that right away so now for a little bonus tip I have for you I tried the Blanco gel out with some kaleidoscope powders because I wondered if it would get that beautiful kind of mica look, the shine to it. It is really fun to do. I can't decide which color to use. I picked a variety here. I've got Pluto, I've got LimeWired, I've got Aurora or Hubble, and the purple there, which is Nebula. Can't decide between these two colors. Since I already did purple though <laughs> with the reinker, I'm going to stick with the blue color here, the Pluto, and I'm going to put this on and I'm just going to add a little spoonful to my Blanco gel. And I'm mixing this up very carefully because this is a powder. So you want to get be kind of slow or you're going to get powder all over the place. <laughs> Don't ask how I know this. So look how slow I'm just kind of kind of slowly coaxing that into the gel mixing that through until I get a beautiful blue. It's real simple to do, but I decided I wanted a little more glittery shine to this. So I'm adding one of my favorite, and that's the Shooting Star. You can also add Alien Kaleidoscope Powder that has a lot of glittery goodness in it too. So I'm mixing this all up, and now I'm gonna place it on my tag just through this stencil here. This is also from Maker Forte. Pick that up and you're gonna get a really great look. Now I did decide that I wanted more sparkle to this. So one great thing is the Blanco gel, it does stay wet a little bit, so you have time to add some glitter. So I'm gonna add some of this silver glitter here to the top and it will stick to that wet Blanco gel even though it is colored. So I just added a little bit there. Look at that. So I'm getting the sparkle that I want and it's gonna stick right to that gel. So when it dries, it will not come off. A really fun look there. So here's our three tags. Now this one, we just use the scraper tool through our inks and that created a really fun pastel look. We didn't mix this fully, we just scraped it through. This one we used with our reinker and mixed that one up fully. Got a really great look with that. And for this one, I mixed it with kaleidoscope powder and then sprinkled some glitter right over the top. So look at all the ways you can use your Blanco. Now, one thing I did wanna mention is it does dry white as you saw before on that bat stencil. And so if you wanna ink up your background and then run the white Blanco over the top, you get a really neat look that way as well. I didn't do that in today's video, but give it a try. 
There's so many fun ways to use it. Here's our samples that I first swatched just so you could see what it looks like on the white. And here's our tags. I kind of decided that I want to write on the top corner what I did with these so I can remember these techniques. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and come visit me on my website, YouTube, and Instagram. Don't forget to follow along each day for more tips and tricks with your inks. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.